Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Now, we are going to be ranking World Cup heroes, guys. This has been my favorite promo we've had all year. I love so many of these cards. I've tried a lot of these cards. I've played against a lot of these cards. And I'm going to be giving you guys my opinion on these cards. Let me know if you guys have any specific cards that we're going to talk about today that you guys really like. Maybe you packed them, you tried them in a the draft, um, etc., etc. I love doing these tier list videos. They're very, very fun to do. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up. And again, just let me know like who you guys like. There's a couple players in here that I know that are just out of this world good. And there's a couple players here that are horrible. Um, and we'll talk through it. And obviously, as always, guys, with these tier lists and opinion videos, it's my opinion. Don't let my opinion upset you. You guys can totally have a different opinion than me. And that's what life should be about. So just keep that in mind because I know that not all the time we always agree on all of the same stuff. So first of all, Joe Cole. Um, now we've got a couple tiers here. We've got God, meta, good, bad, and terrible. Now I'm going to change meta to great. All right, guys, I'm going to change it to great. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to be very, very strict here, uh, with, you know, a lot of these players. I want to make sure when I do these tier list videos that I never have too many players in the God tier, right? I like to keep that very exclusive. And today we have, uh, I would say roughly like, if I were to take a guess here, you got five, uh, this is not a guess anymore, but yeah, you got close to 30 of these cards. So a lot to talk about. So let's get into it. So Joe Cole for me is probably in between good and great. I think he's a very good card. Um, I think Joe Cole probably with you, you considering the price and everything, I'm going to go with great. I think Joe Cole, um, is really good. I think his shot is really good in game. I like his pace. I think his passing ability is good. Four, four is really nice, obviously. And then obviously all the different positions he can play for chemistry is a huge positive. So Joe Cole for me is great. I think value wise super super great right not god tier but joe cole is always very good all right keen is also great and i'm going to tell you guys something really funny i submitted the 88 and 89 squad for keen on one of my accounts and i didn't finish it and it just expired today and i'm very angry because keen has a five-star weak foot now with the explosive patch in fifa he is insanely good now obviously very expensive but super super good card lacks a little bit of the passing but what really makes up for that 78 passing is the five-star weak foot. You don't notice it as much. Very, very uh, nice to have the high shooting as well with the five-star weak foot. That 91 shooting really comes in handy with the five-star weak foot. All right, JJ Okocha, I think for me, I'm not putting him in God tier. I think you guys would maybe be a little bit surprised by that. I've tried him. I think that he's a lot better out wide than he is at striker. I did not like his shooting, and I felt like at times I just got a little bit stuck on the ball with him. So I think he's great. Um, the scaling with him is very nice, obviously right mid and striker, but I just didn't have the greatest experience with him. And I thought for a million coins, there was players that were better. So for me to put somebody in God tier, they've got to be hands down. The player is God tier. And I feel like JJ just wasn't that for me. I think some people watch this video would maybe argue he is God tier. Just wasn't that for me. Um, anytime I use a player centrally and I'm like, okay, I think I should put this player out wide. I always have questions. So that for me, uh, Ricardo Carvalho. I think he's good. I don't think he's bad. Um, and what you'll notice about this tier list today is uh, not a lot of the players are going to be that bad. A lot of these cards are really good. Um, he was definitely better in the previous meta, but still very good. 80 pace, you know, Premier League center back, 92 defending. I'm not going to talk too much there about, you know, all, all of that, but it is a really good card. I think Donovan is also good. Um, he's probably a little bit above Carvalho. Um, for the price, he's great. Four star, four star. And a lot of positions, I really enjoyed using him. I thought that early in the FIFA uh, 23 cycle, when I was playing against the normal hero Donovan, he was driving me crazy. Uh, but this version is very good as well. All right. This might be a little bit of a shock to a lot of you. All right. And I call Dirk Nowitzki. That's what I call him. One of the NBA goats. Um, but yeah, uh, Dirk is amazing. I'm going to put him in the top category of great. When I got this card in my team, I was playing with him and Park Ji Sung. I felt like I just had like Hullet and Vieira. They were that good. So with price considered, very, very good. Yaya Toure is God tier. One of the best players in the game that you guys can get. Um, 82 pace, 87 dribbling, four star, four star, 85 shooting, 88 passing. It's just such a good card. 91 physical. There's not much to be said about him. He's 2 million coins and he's just incredible. He's like the best. So Captavia, this is going to be a little bit surprising to you guys. God tier. I think he's full meta. I think he's amazing. I've been playing against him. He is so annoying. Um, so I don't think his base version, if I was doing a foot hero tier list when I did do it, I think, I don't think I put that version in this tier, but this version definitely is. He got plus six pace on the base. 
it's an incredible card it really is so he's going up there for me today's video is sponsored by nord vpn a huge shout out to them the fastest vpn out there now what nord vpn really offers you is safe data privacy and a peace of mind you really get that feeling of security using nord vpn your internet access will always be private with nord vpn and there's a variety of networks available now my favorite part about nord vpn is the fact that you can use six devices once you sign up with one account so you can have your ipad your iphone your computer all linked with nord vpn and browse the internet very safely as you guys know i love football and i love to watch highlights of football so one of the best usages for me of nordvpn is when i can activate the vpn for twitter one of the accounts that i like to follow is bt sport football and other accounts across the world who post football highlights now unfortunately many of these football highlights are prevented to watch in my location there's nothing i can do about it happens on my phone happens on my computer that's where nordvpn comes to the rescue so if i open my nordvpn app i can connect to a uk server guys the reason I would connect to a UK server is to be able to see the highlights in this region of the Twitter account that I'm looking for. For copyright purposes, guys, I can't play the highlights, but my highlights are allowed to play. You can see the thumbnail of the highlight, and before, the video was not available in my location. With NordVPN, you never have to deal with buffering. You can choose from over 5,200 NordVPN servers in 59 countries and enjoy the fastest experience out there. If you go to nordvpn.com slash nickrtfm, you guys can get a huge saving here, four months free, after signing up with 30 day money back guarantee, you get tracker and ad blocker, you get malware protection and high speed private access to the internet with NordVPN guys. So go sign up now. Thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. Ah, Marquez, it's tough. I, I, he's very similar to Carvalho. He's a little bit slower. I like him. It's gotta be in between good and bad. It's just tough. He's like 100K, he's not that expensive. I think if we're kind of comparing him to the other players, he's kind of more on the bad side, but he's also not bad. So maybe we do like mid and then we do like bad, good, mid, bad. I, I think that's a little bit more appropriate. I know they're all, you know, these two are maybe a little bit more similar, but maybe average, right? Mid or average, right? Because good is obviously still above that. But yeah, Marquez for me there. Um, Govu with the 4-4. Four -four, I think you definitely have to put him in great, right? He got that upgrade, and that was the problem with his uh, base card was that he had the three-star weak foot. So now that he's 4-4, four, four, I think he deserves to be in the great category for sure. Um, Peter Crouch for me is just bad. Now that lengthy is not a thing anymore, and he's like 14K, he had an argument to maybe be in mid before they patched lengthy, but now that they patched lengthy, I don't think your argument is there. Um, Cahill, I think you could say is mid. I don't think he's bad. I think he gets slept on a little bit. He's really affordable. Um, I, I think he definitely gets slept on. He's got good stats, man. Like, that's the thing. He does have really good stats, and he can play a lot of positions. He looks like a really nice box-to-box, -box, so I think mid would be good. Mascherano, I also think is probably good or mid. I, I think as a DM, he's actually really good um, when I did try him, so I I'm going to put him there. He's also really cheap. You could argue, though, that Marquez then deserves to be there. I thought Mascherano's maybe dribbling was a little bit better. Um... So maybe he should be in mid. I think he should be in mid. Probably top of mid. All right, Dempsey is bad. There's no surprises there. Everybody probably agrees with me that Dempsey is not very good uh, in this game. Voller is great. I don't really know where I'm going to put him on this tier, but Voller drives me crazy. Very, very good card. Um, yeah, does not miss the net. He is great. Great for the price. All right, Pappen. I'm putting him in bad. I don't care what you say. I've packed Pappen five times. I've tried him a million times. I don't think he's good. Bad. Bad. I would put him in the trash category. A lot of people that are watching this video that probably actually think he's good. I have a bias here, guys. Can't stand this player. All right. Al Jaber also is bad. I tried him out. He's bad. I, I was like, because I heard from somebody like, oh, he's cheap. Try him out. He's really good. I liked him. I hated him. I couldn't turn with him. I couldn't really do much with him. So for me, he's going to go into bad. Okay. Marquezio, our third player in the God tier category. Marquezio, I think he's like 1.6 mil. What can this card not do? He's amazing. Um, all 80 stats. He's really got that nine golan feel to him, actually. Nine golan uh, of the past, but in extremely good. I actually, you know, sometimes make the argument that you would want him instead of Yaya Toure, but that's a terrible argument. Don't listen to that argument. But he is very good. Uh, him and Yaya are probably the best center mids in the game with Hull and Vieira. Zidane, maybe Mateus. Um, yeah, there's not much more that needs to be said. 
I think his attacking ability is really unique because I think his left stick dribbling is very, very good. Uh, Campos is terrible, although if anybody's watching this video and you want to try something out, try him as a striker. Um, as a striker, he's really fun to use. I scored like 11 goals in nine matches. It was a really fun player to use. So yeah, just a little bit of a fun recommendation if any of you guys were interested. All right, next up is uh, Nakata. Now, I, I would say that Nakata is probably going to be in mid. I actually think he's a little bit underrated. Um, but yeah, a bit generic, four-star, four-star, but not the worst. Definitely better than the base, but nothing too special. I think Kohler is also in mid. I played against him today. I don't think he's bad because defensively he was crazy. Just a little bit slow. Obviously, any center back with 75 pace, you're going to have to think about it, right? And I think you definitely have to do that when it comes to this card. Um, but yeah. Okay, guys. Park Ji Sung, he's going to the top of my great category. Um, he's fantastic. Uh, the fact that, you know, you can get him and Dirk for like, I think it's like 400 or 500 K is just insane because those two will lock it down for you in the midfield. Uh, Parchi Sung, so passionate in game, uh, does so well to, you know, tackle, create attacks. I love him. Um, one of my favorite cards this year, for sure. His, uh, base version didn't disappoint me. And this version also didn't disappoint me. All right. Lucio, is anyone surprised that he's in God tier? I don't think anyone is surprised. Um, I actually would probably argue that Lucio is maybe the best center back that you can get right now. 83 pace, 93 defending, 90 physical. Uh, this version is a little unique because this version is in the Bundesliga. His base one is the Serie A. There was actually a little bit of a mix-up at the beginning of the year because I, they messed up the, the club, I think. And, like, there was a couple on the first day of the game on the release that were from the wrong league. So then, like, they had to compensate with some whole thing. But, yeah, bottom line is Lucio is great. He's great in any meta. You can use him really in any meta, which is great, you know? So Lucio, for me, there. Uh, was good and lengthy, good and explosive. Right now, we're in the explosive meta. All right, Forlan. Uh, Forlan, for me, is right around the section with Voller. I really liked him. A uh, little stiff, but 4-4. Four, four, great shooting with the 94 uh, shooting stat. 90 pace, 83 passing, 90 dribbling. Really like this card. Can't go wrong with Forlan. Um, seriously. And, and yeah, you once you get uh, Forlan... You got to be banging the power shots, banging the Trivellas, long distance shots only. He's really fun for that. He doesn't miss in the box. Uh, Alo Weiron is actually God tier as well. Uh, this is a full meta card. He has 99 pace and 92 dribbling, and he's explosive, and he can play four positions, and he's just nuts. Um, I actually prefer to play Mbappe than Alo Weiron. That's how brutal it is sometimes to play against him. Everybody I play who has Alo Weiron just destroys me on breakaways. Not a fun card to play against at all. Um, Brolin, I think, is good. I was not wowed by this card. I tried him out. For the price, I was not wowed, but he's still very good. 92 shooting, 92 dribbling, and 90 pace uh, for Brolin. Four-star, three-star. I think what really let me down at times was I got on that three-star, and I was like, how is that not a goal, right? And three-star is just brutal at times. So, yeah. All right, cool, I think would be at the bottom of my great category. Premier League links, 91 pace, 87 shooting, 89 dribbling, 89 passing. A uh, couple positions there as well. And then the 4-4, always very nice to have. Um, solid card for the price as well. I think for me, his best position is actually out wide, though I did try him as a striker. I think out wide is the best. All right, Smolarek is probably the more top tier of my great category. Um, Smolarek's base card is insane in its 3-3, and this card has a four-star weak foot. Super explosive in game and just has a lethal shot on his card. So this card is very good uh, and also had a league change here. Uh, so I think the first card is Bundesliga. And this card, I think, is the Polish league. I'm not 100% certain. But yeah, some of these cards have league changes. So yeah, overall, let's take a look at the list. I feel pretty good about it initially. Um, Yaya Tori Marquisio Luzio to top it with Alloway Ron and Captavia. I feel like all five of these cards are full meta. People love these cards. Um, next tier, you've got Dirk, Park, Keen, uh, Smolarek, Diego, Rudy, uh, JJ, uh, Cole, Govu, cool, that looks good, that looks cool, um, Donovan, Carvalho, Brolin, okay, and then Nakata, Mascherano, Marquez, Cahill, Kohler, and then Crouch, Dempsey, Pappen, Al Jaber, and Campos. This looks pretty good to me. I feel like you could maybe move down Cahill even and Kohler to bad, you could say that, and then, you know, you could have... You could have Mascherano, Marquez, and Nakata on this tier. 
That looks good to me. I feel like budget-wise, if you're going to talk about this whole team, like who's a player that's definitely most worth it for the budget and the price, it's probably Park. Park is probably the best value card. Um, you've got a couple other players you could argue in there, like Donovan because of the league links. He's really good. Joe Cole for the price is really good as well. Um, some of these other players you, you do have to pay the premium for. Even like uh, Smolarek is expensive. And then Voller and Forlan, like those cards are very expensive. Those are like elite strikers people do pay a lot for. Um, but yeah, I like the list. I think it's really good. Let me know how you guys find this list. I love to do these lists if it's like relevant or for cards that came out recently. I feel like now a lot of people have gotten to try a lot of these cards. So yeah, I love doing these. And uh, drop a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys thought about uh, these cards. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys later. Peace.